again with my top three favorite finishing powders okay this is kind of like four because there was one that i just couldn't leave out um in number three um which could actually be in number one this is a really really fantastic this i'd pay high-end price for this this is the ribble stay matte uh, stay matte powder in transparent I would pay high-end price for this. This is such a good product. It's a really go-to for so many people. I know people have been using it for so long and it really does the job. It's a fantastic finishing powder. If you can just do kind of precision um, powdering, just take a contour brush or a small brush and just powder the areas that you know are going to get oily and carry it in your bag all through the day, it will just make you look fantastic. So that is definitely um, my one of my three. Um, probably on par with, with that as well is um, the Max Studio Fix, oh, blinding you there, the Max Studio Fix powder. Um, this is a foundation, um, this is a powder foundation, and um, it's, but you can fix powder. If you want a more matte finish, you can fix powder with, um, fix foundation with this. Another thing with this um, powder is that um, you can wear it wet if you get a damp sponge or, or a damp foundation brush or just spray spray it and then use it. You can shear it out and it look lovely. Otherwise it will give you an incredibly matte finish um, and it does have titanium dark side so it will flash back on photography. But you know, nevertheless it's still a good powder to do some precision setting um, and or if you just want a little bit more coverage on your powder use then it, this is definitely one and it comes in a nice compact like this so you can carry it around in your handbag okay my um my number two i guess this would be now what would those those two come in the same like little category um my number two is the mac pack and prime this is a transparent um it lasts a long time transparent powder um setting powder it's incre it feels like silk. This is beautiful. It feels so lovely. It smells horrendous. It's the only thing. It's like, oh, uh, all Mac stuff is just odourless. Smells disgusting. But that's kind of a good thing. You've got no fragrances that are going to irritate your skin. The only thing I have with this, and this is with all kind of um, silica-based powders, which usually are white. Um, is that you've got to make sure you blend them out. You've got to blend, 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 blend because. What will happen is if you use a flash photography with this and you've not blended it out right, you're gonna it's gonna look like you've been sniffing something. So you just really need to be careful. But with correct use and with a correct good flash, this looks fantastic. And it just feels if you're not being photographed, then you know just it feels lovely and it sets your foundation beautifully. I usually actually put this on and then on top of that, I use my number one go-to powder which I absolutely love this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in this isn't MAC mineralized skin finish natural this is a medium I've got a few others that I use as a bronzer and this literally looks like oh, you can't even see it because it looks like skin it's got a not a shimmer a kind of skin skin like kind of shine to it but it, I wouldn't call it a shimmer at all I wear this on top of that or when I'm when I'm doing my final buff of the proper prime, when I've put it on precision powdering, then I'll do my final buff. When I do that, I'll usually put this on, or sometimes I don't bother and I'll go straight in with precision powdering with this, because it is absolutely beautiful. It can be worn alone. It can be worn as a foundation, even a very light foundation or sheared out with a brush, a wet brush or a damp sponge. It's just lovely. It really does make your skin look like skin on top of foundation. Um, you can get these, there's the Mineralized Skin Finish, which are, um, they come in kind of pearlescent type shades, there's all different names and, you know, they're kind of like blushes and bronzers and all kinds of kind of mineralized type baked products like this. So you can go and check those out in the Mac store or you get the Skin Finish Naturals, which come in a different shades like this. I think you can get a very light one and they go down to quite dark. I use the medium deep shade as a slight bronzer sometimes if I want to give myself a glow. Um, so there's loads and loads of variation. It's £20 I think it retails at and it lasts a long time and it's absolutely phenomenal. I really recommend that. as it, That's my go-to. So, um, so there you go. That's my top three go-to setting powders.